epic units of history, the Praetorian Guard. First of all, what was their purpose? Well, we gotta go way back in time for this when Emperor Augustus was still alive and pretty much relevant. Before the Roman Empire, the Praetorians had just served as security for important individuals. One day that all changed when Augustus was like, yeah, it would be cool if I had like, you know, some form of protection since I'm like literally the emperor, like come on, we gotta stay with the times. So the Praetorian Guard had now become the emperor's main form of security. They would ensure that he was safe and would try to protect him from possible assassination attempts. This wouldn't always work out since they were heavily involved in those assassination attempts. Twelve emperors would die due to the Praetorian Guard. They also somehow managed to bid the throne of the whole Roman Empire to the highest bidder. But it all worked out in the end because they only did it like one time, so it was completely fine. How well equipped were the Praetorians? The Praetorian Guard used a variety of weapons, but they mostly relied on the Gladius and the Javelin. They would throw their javelins at the enemy from a distance and use the gladius with their shields. They would poke out at the enemy on the sides of the shield while advancing to cause the most amount of damage possible. When facing long range units such as archers, they would make a shield wall and create a testudo formation. In order for this to be successful, all soldiers in the unit had to work together and move at the same constant pace to maintain formation. This would prove to be very successful and would allow them to reach the enemy to engage in close combat. So how did the Praetorian Guard end? The Praetorian Guard had gained a lot of influence and had amassed large amounts of power over previous Roman emperors. Constantine had recognized this and decided to put an end to the Praetorian Guard as a whole by abolishing them. This of course did not sit well with the Praetorian Guard, so they made a last stand at the Battle of Mevian Bridge which they would lose and be forced to adhere to Constantine's rule. Now, the most important question you've been waiting for, you want to find out, the Praetorian Guard were the color purple. Well, the color purple was extremely expensive in Roman times and mostly just wealthy people wore it, so unless the Praetorian Guard could afford it, they probably wouldn't wear it. But, coincidentally, in Total War, they were in purple, so who knows. Well, this ends my little TED Talk on the Praetorian Guard. If this video does well, then I'll go ahead and do another one. Feel free to critique the video. Feel free to critique. Feel free to critique the video so that I can improve since this is the first time I've ever did something like this. And yeah, see you guys later.